Welcome back to channel everyone. In this video, I'm going to talk about how you can create role based access in Power Apps using this left navigations component where if you have a specific role based on that particular role, you will be able to access the specific screen on the right hand side, which is connected to this left navigation. As you can see, if I click on the home, it takes me to the home screen on the new. It takes me to the new form screen approver. It's approver screen and export data is uh, the export data screen. I have a access metrics list where I've created admin request and approver role based on what role a user has been assigned. The user will be able to see these left navigation and ultimately we control the screens. If uh, the user is a requester, then the user will be able to see home and uh, new screen. If the user is approver, then user will be able to see home and approver screen. And if the user is admin, it will be able to see all of this uh, screen or basically the left navigation. So we'll have to control the left navigations uh, component. If we go to our power apps, and if you have seen my previous video of left navigations component, we have created a simple left navigations component. If you haven't watched that video, you can go and watch that. But what we did is uh, we created a menu items uh, custom input property. And in the menu items, we created uh, a table where we have defined a text value icon and then navigate to screen. And ultimately, when we are calling this uh, left navigation into our respective you know, screens, it uh, gives us exactly the same experience and this menu items load the exact data. This is important while uh, creating this access management. So what we will do is we'll uh, copy this table data. We'll uh, go to our app on start property. And here I will say clear collect and uh, we'll say left nav values and I will paste our entire table here as you can see this is what we did and this left nav value will copy this collection and we'll go to our left navigations which we have uh, actually called our component and in the menu item instead of this direct table value i will paste the collections name here similarly i'll do this for rest of the screens go to the navigations menu items paste our collections name now i have done this for all of the screen i'll save it and if i go to my app here now and if I just try to remove two option, control X these, save this, you will notice the left navigation has gone. And as soon as I run this run on start, it's appear, but this time only two option appearing. And if we go run this, you can see it's working fine. So technically we have to manage this based on condition. I'll paste back my data, save this. If I run on start, it's working fine. So here, what I will do is, as I have this access matrix list, I'll go in my data, add a connection of SharePoint list in order to access this, select my site, add access matrix list. The list is connected now and here I will set a variable that is is user admin and for that I will look up into the access matrix where admin dot email is equal to user dot email user dot email is the logged in user email 
that's it done because this is user admin i want to set this as a true or false value so i will set is blank and at the end close this and in the is blank set as not equal to is blank so what we are saying if not equal to blank if this lookup value doesn't return any value then it will be false and if if does return a value it will be true so if we go to the app run on start the is user admin is true because uh, the logged in user is this and uh, is an admin so same thing we're going to do this for other role as well so instead of is user admin we'll say is user requester and the same way is user approver here instead of admin dot email we're gonna set requester dot email and here we're gonna set uh, approver dot email right and now we're gonna set a if condition is user requester then what we have to do is for requester we only need these two so if the user is requester then set this and close this and one more that's it this is done and uh, then second conditions will be is user approver then in that case what we're going to set is till here i'll copy this if user is approver we're going to remove the new one the user is approver and we're going to close both the parentheses and if that's not the case rest as it is we want to set and we'll close the if here that's it so what we are assuming is that if the user is requester then showcase home and new if the user is approver showcase home and approve else as we have only three roles uh, that is requester approver and admin so we're saying if these uh, two doesn't match that means the user is an admin role and uh, he'll be able to see everything right so what we're gonna do now is we're gonna validate this well run on start and uh, as this user is uh, admin is able to see everything and now if we go here and uh, change the matrix from instead of admin if we put my name here and the requester exit run the app on start now you will see I'm logged in as a requester I'm able to only see home and new what I can do now is uh, publish this app and we'll see this live leave run the app on productions as you can see there's a new version is not here still so it's uh, showing us the previous one we go and just refresh the new version is there now allow you will see uh, I'm logged in as an approver it's showing as an approver if I just change this 
to myself remove it from here I will be able to see home and new as I'm logged in as a request and if I logged in as a admin then you'll see I'm able to see all of these uh, menu items so this way you can control your uh, rule based access and power apps this is not related to your access management this sits on top of your uh, power apps and uh, data source access that you provide uh, to your end user uh, which you can manage their uh, rules if you have rule based application in our next video we'll uh, uh, cover the more complex scenario where one user can be part of the multiple rules and as well as uh, based on specific groups and conditions uh, the user will be having access to the power apps that we'll cover in the next video so till the time if you do like this video don't forget to subscribe learn and tag and i would request you to please join our channel in order to support this channel thank you so much for watching